so the stage is moving to the back left corner to home. Right now it's preparing to print the entire first row of tubes. Here in a second it'll get started and print all of the first row and then flash that UV light. So it just spit all the ink out, now it's flashing the UV light to cure that ink on every tube in that first row. And then it's gonna move down to the next row and start printing the entire second row. So with fast mode, it accelerates the tube printing for high throughput tasks like aliquoting and sample prep. It's super great for short-term studies, daily aliquoting workflows, internal tracking, and solvent-resistant workflows. I'd recommend using fast mode when the tube's lifespan is pretty short. For storage like transport or cold storage, I'd stick with that standard mode with the Tube Rider 400. With fast mode, the TubeRider 400 is the only one of our machines that is able to utilize this feature. If you have a TubeRider 300 or a TubeRider 200, unfortunately that feature is not available on those models. and now it's done printing. So now that it's done printing, I'll go ahead and pop it out of the system. So you'll see that all of them have been printed nicely and you've got great print quality on all of them. I'll go ahead and take one out and rub my finger across that print. You'll see that that text is fully cured onto the tube because that UV light baked it on just as well as it would if we were using the standard mode. And that's fast mode with the TubeRider 400.